At midnight last Friday, Senator Edward M. Kennedy drove a car off a narrow bridge and into a pond on Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. A young woman in the car with him was drowned. Kennedy survived but failed to report the accident until 10 hours later. Today, police moved to prosecute the senator on a charge of leaving the scene of an accident after causing bodily harm. ABC's Mal Good reports from Edgartown, Massachusetts. At 9.30 in front of the Dukes County Courthouse, Chief of Police Dominic Arena faced newsmen in a crowd estimated at 400 townspeople and vacationers. Filing a complaint with the county clerk, Arena charged the senator with leaving the scene of an accident after having done bodily harm. My investigation is completed. Mr. Steele and I uh, will be prepared to go into the hearing and uh, we'll just present our facts and then uh, if the complaint is issued, then a summons will be issued for the senator and then we have to go to court. The senator will not be required to be present when a formal hearing is held next Monday. He will be represented by local attorney Richard McCarran and longtime friend and advisor of the Kennedy family, Burke Marshall. Mal Good, ABC News, Edgartown, Massachusetts. So far, the tragedy on Martha's Vineyard has raised more questions than have been answered, but the questions are muted by compassion for the last male member in this generation of a family that is at once the luckiest and unluckiest in the nation. ABC's National Affairs editor, Bill Lawrence, has a comment. Before the young blonde was killed, many politicians, including Republicans, looked on Senator Kennedy as a shoe-in for the Democratic presidential nomination against President Nixon's bid for re-election in 1972, or perhaps four years later. Now these same politicians privately are asking a lot of questions, and there's no doubt that the tragedy has injured Senator Kennedy politically. Democrats who pin their hopes on Kennedy hope the trouble will recede in the public memory long before the next election. Otherwise, it means trouble. No one now will criticize Senator Kennedy publicly, preferring to give him more time to answer the questions they feel still must be answered about the fatal mishap and his failure to summon help or to report it to the police for many hours. One Nixon administration supporter said there are discrepancies in the senator's story that need clearing up. How did he get back to his hotel in Edgartown if he missed the last ferry boat? One pro-Kennedy Democrat sadly said, I'm afraid that Teddy panicked under pressure, and that's really unforgivable. Another politician raised the question of whether the senator had been drinking. Many, of course, already sympathize with the senator who assumed the Kennedy political mantle after his three elder brothers were cut down by violent death. This is Bill Lawrence, ABC News, Washington. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.